how many days it will take to convert urea into plant available form the conversion of urea into plant available forms as ammonium and nitrate in soil is a complex process and can take anywhere from a few days to several weeks depending on four main key factors <music> Urea which contains nitrogen in amide form is not directly taken up by plants as it has to undergo several process to become available to plants plants can absorb the nitrogen in urea in the form of ammonium and nitrate ammonium is more readily taken up by plants than nitrate but nitrate is the main form of nitrogen used by most crops urea is a highly soluble fertilizer that dissolves easily in soil water whenever urea is applied to the soil urea undergoes hydrolysis followed by nitrification a process in which the urea is converted into ammonium by urease enzymes and then to nitrate by nitrifying soil microorganisms the rate at which urea is converted into nitrate in soil for plant uptake depends on four main key factors as mentioned earlier soil conditions environmental factors method of application plant species and crop uptake levels soil condition is mainly influenced by a combination of physical chemical and biological elements soil's physical condition mainly include soil moisture and soil aeration soil moisture should be needed enough to improve the growth and activity of nitrifying bacteria particularly nitrosomonas and nitrobacter that convert urea to nitrate good soil aeration is very much important as nitrifying bacteria needs oxygen to carry out the nitrification process soil's chemical conditions compresses its ph and nutrient availability nitrification is an important process in the nitrogen cycle and it requires optimal soil ph between 6.5 and 7.5 for the activity of nitrifying bacteria to be successful if the soil's ph is extremely acidic or extremely alkaline the activity of nitrifying bacteria is inhibited and thereby nitrification process slows down or stops completely other than nitrogen nitrifying bacteria also need other essential nutrients particularly sulfur phosphorus and other micronutrients in order to carry out their normal metabolic process biological conditions such as presence of nitrifying bacteria and the competition of other microorganisms also play a critical role in the rate of conversion the presence of nitrifying bacteria's population in soil is very much important for the conversion of urea to nitrate however these bacteria may face competition from other microorganisms for nutrients and space which can affect their activity and thus the conversion of urea to nitrate second is environmental factors it includes temperature rainfall and humidity nitrification is a biological process that is temperature sensitive the optimal temperature range for nitrification should be between 25 degrees celsius and 30 degrees celsius at temperatures above 35 degrees celsius and below 5 degrees celsius nitrification is either inhibited or slowed down heavy rainfall may result in leach out of nitrogen from soil surfaces leading to nitrogen loss humidity should not be very low as it results in high volatilization loss third is method of application The method of urea application can influence the conversion of urea to nitrate in several ways. The primary methods of urea application are surface application and incorporation. Surface application is the most common method of urea application but can result in nitrogen loss due to volatilization. Incorporation is a more efficient method as it involves mixing of urea into the soil. to reduce the amount of urea exposed to the air and thereby minimizing nitrogen loss it also increases the efficiency of nitrogen uptake by plants as it ensures that nitrogen is available in the root zone fourth is plant species and crop uptake levels 
Different plant species can have a variety of effects on nitrification rates. For example, legumes such as soya bean and horse gram establish a symbiotic association with nitrifying bacterium, thus improving soil fertility. On the other hand, brassica crops such as broccoli and cabbage release chemical compounds that inhibit the growth of nitrifying bacteria thereby reducing nitrification rates. The amount of nitrogen that is taken up by plants also influences nitrification rates. Nutrient uptake pattern varies with different crop stages. Generally, plants uptake nutrients from the soil immediately after the development of roots. It begins at early leaf stages and increases at fruiting stage where it reaches optimal level and finally declines at ripening stage. Nevertheless, hydrolysis and nitrification process requires all those specific conditions to take place or else the efficiency of urea application and the time required to convert into plant available form changes.